Purchase your raffle ticket today and win a new truck in our Drive Away for Education truck raffle. Finally, we're going to go with who we think are going to win these games. So the way that the graphic is designed before we get there is the logos that are displayed are the logos of the two teams that we think are going to win. So it's a 6 yes. one and it's got two logos. Those are the teams that we think are going to win their respective state semifinal and be playing in the state championship. This isn't us picking who's going to win the state championship. This is us saying these are the two teams we think are punching their ticket to AT&T Stadium. So do you want to go? Yes. Man, I don't even want to pick a state champ. I'm sick of picking. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being wrong. Like My Instagram so, DMs are just going to keep blowing up. My Instagram DMs are blowing up, but I'll go ahead and start with this. So let's do it again, let's, let's shall keep we? Doing it because we're going to make state champ picks too. So yeah. let's just keep it rolling. Oh I love it. Here are my 2022 Texas High School football playoff state semifinals picks. I guess we can start big school since we started small yeah. school last time so i am picking duncanville here to beat prosper okay i don't think that there's much of a question here um this, this one is, feels uh, safer this one sears feels a little bit safer this is definitely the biggest test that prosper is going to have this year probably um but i'm picking duncanville and then westlake i am going to pick westlake there um over north shore over north shore that one is it's very interesting i think that they both because they both have they both got the experience they both know how to play in mm -hmm. big time situations <sighs> Dis i mean um d uh north shore's got the backup quarterback and touchdown uh -huh. dave i'd say westlake is probably more experienced um especially on that defensive line yep I think I'm gonna. I think I'm just gonna go with experience at that point and probably pull out Westlake. The thing that makes this one fun for me is I think you can look. If you look at both of these teams compared to their teams at this point last year, yes, they were in different divisions. Yes, but take last year's Westlake team and this year's Westlake team. You're gonna say. I think that this year's Westlake team is an outstanding football team, but I do not think they are as good as the Westlake team that we saw last year. I think you could do the exact same thing with North Shore. Mm -hmm. You look at this North Shore team and say, that's a pretty darn good football team, mm -hmm. but they're not as good as the team that we saw last year, which is crazy because last year they were playing with freshman Caleb Bailey, but right. obviously Caleb Bailey out playing with touchdown Dave. He's been spectacular, but that's losing one and a half players because then you're also losing your best wide receiver. Mm -hmm. If Caleb Bailey was playing, I think that this year's West or North Shore team is better than last year's, yes. but that's not the case. So what I love about this matchup is that you take both of those teams and go, well, I think they're both kind of down. And it's like, no, this is great because if one was exponentially better and one was exponentially down from last year, even though they're both still good football teams, it wouldn't make for as good of a matchup. I think right. you have a very, very even keel playing field compared to what we had last year. Right. I, I, yeah, I, I think that, that Westlake defensive line is just going to be able to make touchdown day pretty uncomfortable yes, in the pocket. Yes, I agree. It's just going to be a little bit too much for him, but I think it'll be close. Next, uh, 6A Division Two. I'm picking Denton Geyer over DeSoto. DeSoto. I lost my graphic. I had it pulled up here. And then I'm going Katie over Austin Vandergriff. At that point, I'm just picking – I'm picking. It's you can't, it, you can't bet against Jerry, Gary Joseph. I was gonna say you can't <laughs> pick against Katie, you know, and then that becomes another question in the state sem in the state championship who you pick there. But yeah, oh my god, that one's gonna it's gonna be, be so, so hard. hard. But I'm going Katie in that sense. Five A Division One. We already previewed it. I'm going Longview, and then I'm going College Station on the other side of the bracket. I, I like it. I picked them to win the regional finals. I picked them to get out of the regional finals mm -hmm. and play in the state semifinals, um, and I'm going to stick with them. I, I think like that it. they are. I, I do think that they are probably a, a little bit better of a team than Corpus, Corpus Christi, Christi Veterans Memorial, um, even though they don't have their guy. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm still going to pick them. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to do it. I'm still going to pick him. I did it. 5A <laughs> Division Two. I'm going with Sock. I didn't pick Sock in my original regional mm -hmm. picks a couple weeks ago. I actually picked Argyle, but I think Sock has really stepped up, especially on the defensive side of the ball in the playoffs. So I'm going with them. And then I'm going with Port Niches Groves over Liberty Hill solely because Liberty Hill is down two of their best running backs because they both got injured on the same exact play last week, yeah. which was just an anomaly. I mean, you never see Unbelievable. that happen. Both breaking their collarbones. I was just going to say, it wasn't insane. just like 
oh, one of them had a cramp and one of them right. twisted an ankle. Like, whew. Exactly. So I'm going with PNG there. For a Division One, I'm not picking against them. They were tested a little bit last week, but I'm going with China Spring and then China Spring over Decatur. And then I'm picking Tyler Chapel Hill over Bernie. I think this is probably the only one that we disagreed on here, mm -hmm. but – that's a coin flip game. I'm really, really, really excited to see that Chapel Hill offensive line up against that Bernie defensive line because we mentioned earlier that Bernie team has size on that defensive line. Yeah. And just how uncomfortable can they make a uh, Chapel Hill quarterback, Demetrius Brisbane? Mm -hmm. So, for a Division Two, not picking against him this time, Carthage. <laughs> I got At all the that. Carthage players that were in Mallory's Don't DMs. Worry, man. I'm picking Carthage. <laughs> she corrected know. her mistake. Yeah, I'm not going that. And then <laughs> I'm going with Quero because they had a fantastic win last week over Silsby. I think they have proven themselves. I'm picking them over Wimberley. 3A Division One. now. We are going with Brock. I It also changes when I picked Malakoff at first. But right. I'm picking Brock this time because I think that win You're over You're flipping Whitesboro. a lot. I am. I am. Um... I think that went which over is cool because you got week. all you got almost all of those picks right in your regional right. pick, but then it's like okay but then you now see these teams and how they going play up against each other, right? Yeah. Exactly, and it it's it's hard to pick, you know. Oh, I don't yeah. know, but so I think I'm gonna I think I'm going Brock on this one. Um, yeah, it is funny. Real fast at the like to further that point, it's almost interesting to hear that it's it feels a little bit easier to pick games when there's hundreds of games yes and you would think like oh well you only have to choose between one team or the other here you know like that's simple uh -huh. it's only one game just pick one it's like no actually having 500 teams to choose from ends up being because then yep. you're just going off of vibes exactly. like now we have data and you have to try to digest it and that's not easy <laughs> yeah no we don't like that at all that's stats are not our friend um so going with brock and then i'm not picking against franklin they have looked too dominant this year um but it will be interesting, like you said, that uh, offensive and defensive line matchup between um, Franklin and Edna. But I am ultimately picking Franklin in that. 3A Division Two, not picking against these guys. Gunner, they have looked just solid on all three phases of the game mm -hmm. this year. They are just fantastic. I'm picking them. And then I think I have to pick Poth in this one. Um, the Pirates. The Poth Pirates. Am I saying it right? Poth? Uh -huh. Poth, yeah. So they're playing – the Darling Cinderella in Harmony. I think that this Poth, Poth team is just too good defensively. Yeah. This is just going to be too much for this Harmony offense to get going. I think yeah. this. It, I think they're just too good and too stout up front, especially for that Poth team. 2A Division One. I'm going with the Holly Bearcats over Crawford. This one also kind of a toss-up. I was going to say that this one. This one's really difficult to choose. They're, they're two. They're very really similar. Good. Yep. They're very similar, and they're both really, really good. Um, they got a lot of weapons. They've got good size. The offenses yeah. can both score, but yet the defenses. They the, the defenses are always are really good. They uh -huh. do enough. You know, like yeah. This that sets up. Uh -huh. Stinking toss up, and guess what? So is who they're playing. Two A Division One was hard to pick. Yeah, really it was hard to pick. Really, really hard. And then I'm I think I'm gonna go with Timpson over Referio. And then this one, I'm gonna go with the guy Terry Bussy. I mean, you yeah. can't pick against him. It's kind of hard to do that. So going with them. And then finally, I am picking Albany over New Home. Um, I I think that the Cinderella, Cinderella ends here. I think just like for Harmony, I just think this is probably too much too quick mm -hmm. for this new home team. This Albany team has proven that they have, they're just dominant. Yeah. They're really, really dominant. And then finally I'm picking Mart over Burton. I'm not picking against Mart. <laughs> they are, <laughs> they're really scary. I mean, they've got one of the, they, they've got probably the best offense, I would say across the board. So I, I'm, I'm not picking against uh, them. You hear that coach Hoffman? We better get invited to the barbecue next yeah, time. Yeah, seriously. Really, really good. good <laughs> um, you mentioned it. So I'll go through mine and guess what? You're going to see, Almost oh, identical. My picture changed. The words Pickles Picks changed. And then the Bernie Greyhound logo changed. And that was literally it. Um, I will go through. And you said a lot. Like, like obviously, we, we picked basically identical. And this was another one. We didn't talk about this at all. No. We made the graphics. And then we looked at it and said, oh, crap. There's one that we disagree on. I'll go through real fast and just kind of go over the ones that I feel like I'm more sure of. Then not. Good. I feel I like pretty that. good about 6A D1. I feel good about Duncanville. 
I'm a little bit more on the fence about Westlake, but it's hard to pick against the three-time reigning state champ. Mm -hmm. I just think that that, like you said, the defense might be a little bit too much for touchdown, Dave. Uh -huh. yeah. I could end up eating my words on that, but I that's how my gut feels, and I feel pretty good in my gut about that one. I think Geyer is the correct choice here. I think this Geyer team has proven that they are the team to beat. Um, Katie, again. How how do you pick against Gary Joseph? Trying to pick if that ends up being the six A Division two oh, matchup. I hope she's. I'm it's flipping be so a coin. <laughs> 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 yeah. Literally flipping a coin. Yeah. Um. I feel. <laughs> I don't even know how confident I feel in Longview. Like I know. I feel good about it because I've told myself that I think Longview is the wire to wire number one team. But I've watched a lot of Alito football this year. And it would not surprise me in the slightest if they won that game. So that's a coin flip for me. I feel pretty good about the College Station pick as long as they don't get off to a super slow start. Because we have seen College Station so many times this year. Excuse me. <coughs> not as much in the playoffs, but they get down to a slow start and then they can't crawl their way back out. I do think right. College Station is the better team, though. I feel pretty confident about that pick. <sighs> I know. It's really hard. I want to believe in Sock. All due respect to Argyle, Argyle worries me that they can't score enough points. Mm -hmm. They are capable of it, but I just haven't seen an explosive Argyle team. And I think that Sock can do it. PNG against Liberty Hill. Had Liberty Hill been at full strength, Liberty I think Hill. I would have picked me Liberty too. Hill. But I think with Liberty Hill down and this being a very, very good PNG team, I'm going with that. China Spring, I feel pretty confident in. Bernie... Total stinking toss-up. Total stinking toss-up. <laughs> All year, I've been talking about Chapel Hill, and the thing that worries me most against Chapel Hill is their turnovers. I just... This Bernie team is explosive. This Bernie team has a really good defense on them. I think that they, both of these teams, want to get into a shootout. Mm -hmm. I think the Chapel Hill offensive line is just as good as you said that it is. But I am so – gosh, darn it. Hang on. <coughs> yeah, it's the turnovers too. I mean, it's just – they are mistake prone. They are turnover prone. I just get really, really scared with a burning team that can outscore people of Chapel Hill being able to hold on to the ball. If Chapel Hill holds on to the ball, I think Chapel Hill yes. wins this game. Agreed. I think Agreed. Chapel Hill is the better team. But if Chapel Hill has three or four turnovers like they have almost every single week – I think Bernie is the team that's able to capitalize on that because they just yes. want to get into a shootout. Yes. So I I'm ultimately that. going to go with Bernie. Coach Rudin can absolutely put me 100% wrong if they do not turn the ball over once. I feel really good about Carthage and Cuero. I am concerned a little bit about Brock. This was another one I had to go back to, and I wrote off Malakoff against Grandview. They proved me wrong. I think this is an unbelievable Malakoff team, but I have stuck my guns with Brock this entire year. When they were 0-4, I was like, no, I've seen them in person. They're a really mm -hmm. stinking good team. I don't feel confident in either of those two teams. I don't know, but what I do feel confident in is Franklin. I, I don't... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, no. I don't think Brock can get off to a slow start like they did against Whitesboro last week because I don't think they're going to be able to come back against Malakoff yep. if they do get to a slow start. I would agree with that. I'm going to go with Brock outscoring them and not getting off to a slow start. If they do, you're 100% right. I, right. I think Malakoff's a better team. Um, I feel confident in Franklin. Probably going to end up on an account for that again, but I do. Um, feel very confident in Gunner. I know how good of a team Canadian is. I think this Gunner team is playing on a different level. Mm -hmm. I yeah. really genuinely Plain and do. Yeah. Um, I am also going to go with Poth because I agree. I think the defense is just too much. Great, great season by Harmony. Defense, fantastic. Um, I feel pretty good about Holly. Kind of. Not really. <laughs> two A Division One was so hard. I'm not even going to act like I know what I'm talking about in Two A Division One. Two A Division. Me too. <laughs> like whatever. Yeah. We we flipped a coin on these. Like, like <laughs> I, don't, I don't freaking know. They're both. They're all four so good. Uh -huh. Which by the way, shout out Ishmael Johnson because the he did the Two A Division. Don't shout him out on That's here. That's true. <laughs> Ishmael ain't listening. Um, he all four of the teams he had ranked in our final rankings of the year in two A Division One are the four teams that are in the yeah, state awesome. semifinal. So yeah. shout out Schmail. He knows what he's talking about. Um, I feel good 
with my Albany pick, and I feel good with my Mart pick. Yeah. To a Division Two, much easier. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I don't know about the Bernie Chapel Hill. Yeah. I don't know about the Brock Malakoff. And I don't know about Sock Argo. Yeah. It's Those hard. are the ones that I'm like, no. Nah, nah. Just give me a coin and I'll flip it. Nah, nah, nah. 